Right now, though, my next guest has just fulfilled a lifetime ambition by travelling to the edge of space. Well, Richard Branson joins me now from Necker Island. How are you feeling? I'm, I think I'm coming down now. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, um, no, I, I came down to uh, uh, the, the wonderful sort of comments from the grandkids, um, my, my little, uh, my, my, uh, the two-year-old, the smallest. Um, uh, Papa gone to the moon, Papa gone to the moon. I mean, it's just, it's, it's been an absolute delight. And um, when, we got, when we got back home on the island, everybody, everybody had dressed up in spacesuits and had a wonderful welcome from uh, the islanders and uh, lots, lots and lots of kids, which is what's um, so particularly pleasant about the whole, the whole venture. Exactly, inspiring young people, that's the thing. But you talked about the, <laughs> that your little one thought, you, your little granddaughter thought you'd gone to the moon. You got a call from Buzz Aldrin, for goodness sake. <laughs> he phoned you up when you uh, landed back, that's amazing. That, that, was, um, that was incredible because, you know, as a teenager, I, I look, looked up at the moon when Buzz Aldrin was yes. literally on the moon and, um, and, uh, and Neil Armstrong. And, and that's really what inspired me to... Uh, to do this program in the first place, plus uh, a, a plus a phone-in program actually on English television when somebody asked um, asked asked me the question, "Would you ever want to go up in a spaceship?" But um, but um, no, Buzz is ninety-one years old, and um, and it was a, obviously a great great honour that he, um, he he rang straight after the flight. Incredible! You need to take him up because <laughs> he probably would be fine. He would be more. He would be more than fine. He would be great. He'd be telling everybody. He'd be telling everybody what to do. <laughs> now it all went incredibly well. You were fine. The weightlessness is an extraordinary experience, isn't it? And you didn't throw up. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think the moment that you know your body's working and, and you're not going to let the side down, it, you can just uh, sit back and have the, the most ridiculous, um, uh, the most ridiculous day of your life. And um, uh, you know, they were, when, when they when the space, well, you're first of all, you know, taken up in the mothership to thirty, no, sorry, to sixty thousand feet, and then and then and then dropped away, and um, and and then <laughs> when they they turn on the rocket and um, wow. and you just go naught to three and a half thousand miles an hour in roughly eight seconds and uh, and the, you got the roar of the engine as you're going straight up I mean you're just looking straight 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 up um, and um, and then that wonderful silence as you as you hit space and um, and having said a few words uh, back to kids and it just when you unbuckle I mean I, Peter Pan was my favorite. Uh, favorite um, character figure as a kid, and and I've always wanted to fly, and uh, and then li just literally lifting off the seats and um, and and just flying. I mean, there's, you know, there's no better way of putting it. And um, and after that first tentative, like a bird that's just <laughs> just taken off for the first time, uh, you can then get in and and and, and really enjoy it, and then look out at these win these big windows back at Earth and. And Earth is an extraordinary, beautiful place, and um, uh, and we all we all were, were blessed to have uh, you know those those, spe those spectacular oh, views. It's amazing. Um, it's amazing. Don't you think it changes you? It has to. I mean, you're now part of a very elite band. There's probably only <laughs> been about a few hundred people who've ever experienced that, and it and it does change. It has to. I, I hope. I I I I, I mean I. But in the last 25 years, I've devoted most of my life to uh, trying to sort out the issues of the world. So, you know, help sort out the issues of the world, like, you know, climate change or uh, rainforest issues or ocean degradation and so on. Um, I will, we will defi uh, definitely, you know, the next 25 years, um, being an optimist, um, we'll, 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 uh, we'll put the whole of the, whole of the Virgin uh, effort into uh, all these different, all these different issues around the world, and and, and that's most people who've been to space come back feeling the same way. We've got there's no other, there's nothing else out there like Earth, and um, and and we live we, we live on something, you know, with beautiful, unique species that need to be protected, and um, and uh, and yeah, we've all got to get out and get get out and play our bit if we can to protect them. See, I think that's so interesting because a lot of people saying, you know, NASA has always had this, um, if you like, this criticism of why are we spending all this money going into space? Why are people doing this? But I mean, 
I always say we have to do this. As, as human beings, we are curious and we have to find out what's going on, what's out there. And like you said, the people who do that value the earth so much more because they know how fragile it is. They've seen it. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 that, that, that is one very important part of it. I think the other, the other really important part is that, um, that, uh, by, that, that space actually already transforms our lives back here on earth and, and and a lot of people just don't know that you know the phones they're using or you know this satellite link between us today um uh um is is all to do with space i mean without space we wouldn't we wouldn't be connected and there are you know there are two and a half billion people in the world who are not connected and you know the same week that we put uh, virgin galactic up we put virgin orbit up which was a giant rocket from a 747 uh, putting satellites into space and and those satellites will start connecting people um, we've had scientists up in, in 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 our spaceships doing uh, doing tests because virgin galactic goes to a place in the air in in the air that balloons can't reach um, and uh, and satellites can't get to um, and so um, you know so scientists are really excited about the fact that they can um, do experiments and actually be in be in the spaceship when they when they're doing the experiments, which hasn't 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 been able to happen before. So, you know, it's difficult. To, you know, there are so many things that are benefits from space, and so many more things I think that can now benefit mm. from Virgin Galactic and Virgin Orbits uh, pushed into space as well. And also, you beat the other two fellas as well. That must be rather lovely. Um, thank you. <laughs> they, they, it, it, it honestly didn't matter. First of all, I mean, Elon was a real gent turning up and and and, uh, and coming and with his with his his child to, uh, you know, to get wish us well and 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 watch the flight and 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 um, uh, and Jeff, I wish him all, all the best in in a week's time. So uh, again, you know, Jeff's program, Elon's program, and our program will will will, will make a will make a big positive difference and. Um, I must admit, I haven't, I haven't liked the word billionaire. It's like, you know, uh, Richard Branson, billionaire. Uh, I think, you know, what, what, I think what all of us are, are trying to do is to spend our lives creating things that we can be proud of and make, that, that make a difference in the world and hopefully pay the bills at the end of the year. And, you know, space was tough and we had 17 years of, uh, you know, when, when it nearly broke up, broke, 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 broke the bank account of Virgin. Um, uh, now that when, when COVID read its head, actually space came and helped keep Virgin Atlantic's employees um, in, uh, in, employed and, and Virgin Voyages employees employed and so on. So, um, uh, so uh, anyway, I, I, I like to feel myself as a creator who creates special things that people can enjoy. And I think that there's going to be a lot of kids watching this program who one day will become astronauts and, yes. and one day will go to space. And, That's and, what and we want. It should inspiring be the next time. generation, inspiring the next generation as you have. Thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning. It's so good to talk to you. Get Neil Armstrong up there um, and good luck with the next voyage. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, Buzz Aldrin, what am I saying? Thank you very yeah. much indeed. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm so excited Neil, about it all. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Neil, Great to Neil. talk to you. Thank you so, so much. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.